Hello, people. Uh, I have finished a book, just actually just minutes ago, and uh, I'm trying to start another one. It's really hard to do these videos sitting in the pool. When I just came out here, there was no clouds, or there was a cloud, I mean, and uh, now the sun has peaked out, so I cannot even see the screen. But this is the book that I finished, Type E. This is the first book by Herman Melville. Uh, I did a little Googling to see everything that he's written. I may look for Omo and, and read Omo. I think Omo's going to be kind of the same as Type E. Uh, of course I've read uh, uh, Moby Dick. And I've also read uh, In the Heart of the Sea. And In the Heart of the Sea is a book about the actual event where an angry sperm whale sinks a whaling ship. It really did happen. And Herman Melville heard about it and, and wrote Moby Dick. But uh, the, the real story is just as interesting because these guys get stuck in, in the in these tiny whale boats in the middle of the Pacific and they end up eating each other and shit like that. Anyways, Typey. It's a pretty good book. It was published in 1846, 389 pages. Typey is the name of a tribe. They're on this island and there's like three tribes on the island. Uh... All three tribes are uh, mortal enemies, and uh, he jumps ship, him and another guy, they jump ship, and they go to live with the natives. They don't pick out the Taipei, they want to actually go live with some other natives, but they make a mistake and they end up with the Taipei. Uh, so the thing is written almost as if an anthropologist wrote this book. Uh, you know, they talk about marriage customs, clothing, uh, food, and, 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 uh, he's also, you know, the, the type B treat him very well. They feed him and they carry him around on their backs and they, they bathe him and everything. Uh, there's a few things they don't talk about, uh, uh, but he's, he's a prisoner of, of the type B. They won't let him leave. And so the book goes on and on and on, and, and eventually he's able to escape. There started out being two of them. One of the, the other guys' name is Toby. Toby gets away much earlier. And then uh, this guy's name is Tom, or Tomo. And uh, it takes him a while. He's with the natives for about four months, and he ends up getting away. Uh, it's well written. Of course it's well written, and it's written by Herman Melville. Uh, there are multiple words. A lot of the books that are that are old, people used, people had a uh, a large vocabulary back then, and, and uh, there's a lot of multiple words in this book that that I didn't know the meaning of, but I was too lazy to Google. So I got a couple of paragraphs to read here. One ninety two, and this one I just. I picked out because it, it'll give you an idea of, of the way he wrote. Uh, second paragraph. I remember upon one occasion plunging in among a parcel of these river nymphs, and counting vainly upon my superior strength, sought to drag some of them under the water, but I quickly repented my temerity. The amphibious young creatures swarmed about me like a shoal of dolphins, and seizing hold of my devoted limbs, tumbled me about and ducked me under the surface, until from the strange noises which rang in my ears and the supernatural visions dancing before my eyes, I thought I was in the land of spirits. I stood indeed as little chance among them as a cumbrous whale attacked on all sides by a legion of swordfish. When at length they relinquished their hold of me, they swam away in every direction, laughing at my clumsy endeavors to reach them. And I also have uh, 248. 
from the first paragraph, page 248. Although I had been baffled in my attempts to learn the origin of the Feast of the Calabashes, yet it seemed very plain to me that it was principally, if not wholly, of a religious character. As a religious solemnity, however, it had not at all corresponded with the horrible descriptions of Polynesian worship which we have received in some published narratives, and especially in those accounts of the evangelized islands with which the missionaries have favored us. Did not the sacred character of these persons render the purity of their intentions unquestionable? I should certainly be led to suppose that they had exaggerated the evils of paganism in order to enhance the merit of their own disinterested labors. Throughout the book, he, he kind of uh, uh, talks like a dog about missionaries. I'm not trying to say that Melville was an atheist. I don't think he was. But he certainly does not show the Christian missionaries any favors. And he's constantly... <coughs> excuse me. He's constantly comparing the situation on this island where the natives are kind of unspoiled with what is happening at that time in the Hawaiian Islands to the natives there. And uh, he refers to the Hawaiian Islands as both. He calls them the Hawaiian Islands, and then a few pages later, he'll call them the Sandwich Islands. Uh, anyways, great book. I'm probably going to have to be on the lookout for Omo now. Thanks for watching.